Man, I feel like I haven't seen or talked to you guys, any of you guys in a long time, just because I've been, like, headed down in work mode, so. Oh, you can get, you can get trapped in that. You gotta uh, come up for air every once I in do. a while. Yeah, that's my day today, but I'm kind of sick, so. Yikes, because I gotta work tomorrow, and oh my goodness. Anyways, let's get into it. So we're gonna pull up Tufts music. We'll use Tufts to start. All right. Yeah, should get some music. Let's do this. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. It's nice. Um, I like having these kinds of tournaments because definitely thinking back to when we first started Conduit, and I'm like, do we really want to watch a bunch of people who aren't so good at the game play? Turns out the answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is a very resounding yes. Watching people who maybe aren't like unbelievably amazing at a game is still super entertaining. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's fun to watch the struggle and uh, overcoming the odds and doing a win and stuff. It's good. The drama is the, there. The drums. <laughs> All right, we got an early shop check. Nope, this is not a shop. This is a, what do you even call these? Caves for Moo Moo? Yeah, like chest cave. Yeah, a little unconventional um, play. Not a lot of racers tend to go in there, but uh, ooh, and it was not worth it. Just a few diamonds. Yeah, generally the item pool is just too big. Find something useful in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna move on then. Oh no! Rip torch! So Tuffo gets eaten by the like like, he loses the <laughs> torch. And that oh, was the wisdom the torch too. Ugh. So sad. I can't believe I just pulled the name Like Like out of my brain. <laughs> such, a, such a wise Like Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all of a sudden it's just seeing like items everywhere. I mean, the Like Like, that's what it wants. It wants all the items, right? Isn't that what it's for? It's just to like eat your items. So, I'm Cow Pie for Moo Moo Akai. Hmm. I'm sure Moo Moo appreciates that. Thanks so much, Rock <laughs> Lee, for the 15 months. That's really kind support. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, I'm gonna have to check out that Death Streak game. Um, I don't know if you caught some of that conversation there, uh, Tic Tac, about Penta 2. Yeah, I heard. A lot of people I've are. always heard good things about uh, Death State. I've watched. Oh, Rock is that play it? Death State. <laughs> is that what it is? I, I don't know. I said Death Strike. The Ronkley game. It is Death State. <laughs> Death State. Yep. <laughs> And I might, I might be mixing names here, but I think Flannel's husband worked on Death State, she said once upon a time. I oh, might yeah? be making that up. Right on. But that'd be like Super Small World, because I didn't know that. Oh, cool. Yeah, there, yeah. there you go. Wow. That's well, I'm going to have to check that game out, because uh, I'm intrigued. I, I, all this talk of Penta 2, um, yeah, I'm interested in... Put something like that together, of course, though, I need to find time to stream so that I can actually stream these games, but... Uh, yeah. What do we got going on here? Some funky moves there for Moo Moo. Um, but does find this Wisdom Torch. Now steer clear of the like likes. They are hungry for Wisdom Torches today. Ooh, and a Courage Shovel too. That's a nice little tile. Tough getting a bow from the windmill. We'll take it. Yeah, bow's good. Looks like Moo Moo's gonna do the same. So I think mostly on the rails, everybody's doing kind of the same thing. We just got Pie Pushers just a touch behind. Now, in the first race, we did notice that Pie Pusher really went a completely different way um, and did a lot more scouting out of the map, which can be really useful. I think that's the less risky play. Like, it's more risky to just kind of assume the map, but it also could be um, just referring to, like, uh, experience, right? Like, it, the more you know the game, the more you can expect certain tiles to be in certain places. You have to yeah, explore some sure. Might get some early Sheikah Slates to teleport to. It looked like he got, uh, like, Hylia already. <laughs> Flannel. <laughs> Just <read> that. <laughs> oh, that's good. And there is um, Kakariko. Yeah, I don't actually totally understand the meta at the very beginning of, like, people who are like, well, I go... I know Rad explains it a bunch and stuff. I just get really... I don't know. I'm confused by it. It's like you can go and touch this stone here to like go to the Hylia first because the backtracking is, uh, I think I get like kind of, <laughs> I just get lost. I need to like sit down and like really focus on what all that means. 
Yeah, and and like a lot of the stuff they talk about there too with the the racing meta is it, it saves like seconds like <laughs> <laughs> but if you add all of them up together you're actually saving quite a bit of time yeah. so it's yeah it's we're talking it. to the guy who discovered that using japanese text is uh is the way to <laughs> save you know a few frames here and there yeah that's right i'm still kind of on the uh the old meta for this game too. I never really learned any of the new the yeah. new strats. Some of the hooks, some of the hook shot skips, but not much. Right, same. <laughs> no, no, keep doxing. It's good. <laughs> I used to live in up up state New York, which is Ontario. <laughs> yes, New York's hat. That's right. <laughs> All right, we got Lost Swamp now. So doing the full world tour here. There was uh, Moo Moo checking another uh, one of those chest caves. But yeah, that's have the required stuff to get it. Doesn't get the wraparound uh, screen here for quick to the slate, but that's okay. Oh, he's looking for a hook shot. Hook you shot don't want to do the swamp. Add the swamp. There's the. Um, the Goron bomb shop. Hey, did you guys yes, know that that's a important. bomb? That the bomb shop looks like a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a 100% run the other day, and I had a Deku Seed on top of the wick for that bomb. Oh, no. And I had to get, like, the Rito Feather to get up there. It was super annoying. That is, that is really annoying. Yikes. And the Poison Key, too spend uh, some health to get it definitely worth <laughs> well there bronx you're playing with fire careful think of what people might do with that information <laughs> <laughs> all right bomb chew pick up for moo moo yeah scoping out i guess if you have the wisdom torch it's not a terrible idea to duck in there and see what's in that purple chest i didn't even see what it was but clearly bronx didn't like it, or moo moo didn't like it sorry Moo Moo is the one who's playing. Oh, it looks like we're doing that classic look around for floaties. Ah, uh, yes. Usually when people spend a lot of time on their map, it's they're looking for floaties. Although, why would you be looking for floaties? They found the Goron shop already, so I'm not sure what um, Tuff was doing. Just maybe not sure where to go next. Yeah, and that's something to keep in mind all the time too is uh, you got to have your checklist of okay i got this thing now i gotta go that way and then i gotta got this thing for the next skip and it's a lot of uh info to juggle while you're trying to keep the beat and everything too yeah oh yeah for sure and that actually might be a good argument for not doing a best of three because like then you get in the situation oh no bounce trap went the wrong way for moo moo yeah that what? was good <laughs> <laughs> wait is that intended? Like, I it... think that's uh, the mirror mode screws that, that uh, bounce trap up, because if it's the other way, it works. That's vicious. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. Replay GG. value. <laughs> yeah. Surprise, this doesn't work at all. Uh-oh. We move a little down to a heart. Almost getting downstabbed by that moblin. Does this work? Oh yeah, you can jump. Oh, okay. What's the plan here? What are we doing? We brought the stone all the way from the other. Oh, to the get other the side. bridge going. Yeah. Yeesh. <laughs> that is a real time. Couldn't they just done the other way? Why? Was there no rocks on the other thing? I don't think so. I guess You need not. like the down stab or something to get it to go good. Yeah, you gotta do the puzzle in the windmill. Nobody has got time I wonder for that. if that would have been faster than Actually, getting yeah. that stone, but... <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, Moo Moo did not anticipate the uh, bounce trap going the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can blow up the arrow trap. Yeah, that's a lot of bombs, but yeah, you could do that. Blow up the arrow trap and then do the Din's Fire and then do another bomb for Din's Fire to knock it onto it. Here's tough getting the, the floaty boots. Floaty boots. But... There's Why, the though? there's the Goron shop, and you get yeah. the flippies. <laughs> Why? 
Maybe I don't think anyone's needs... used a Goron charm yet this tournament. Needs the uh, the Freddy Mercy. Doesn't want to kill Freddy. Incorrect. I... <laughs> <laughs> it just should do that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's much faster. Yeah, weird. Yeah, oh, I don't know what's watching, going on, uh, uh, Moo Moo do their uh, Death Mountain stuff. Pipe Pusher did find the Goron shop, so we should see that over there, too. Well, everyone's found it, but nobody's doing it. I guess maybe he wanted the hovers for this. Oh, yeah, you get the bridge skip. That works, I guess. Uh, down to half a heart, though. This is going to get a little funky. A little funky fresh. Yikes. All right, so we spent the time to get the floaty boots, but you could have got the down stab too for probably quicker. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't like the floaty boot screen. It takes forever. I think the thing about that though is that now the floaties, you can go straight to death or uh, the, the ruins after this, I guess. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is a funky seed. <laughs> I don't know, man. Whew. All right, so we're going to see Temple of Storms for Moo Moo. Um, but I imagine we're going to not see that for, I think, if you're tough, you go for the, um, you go for the ruins, right? I guess these floaties should last until after this temple, and they yeah, can be useful. they here. last real long, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, we do see a lot of, of keys right now for tough. Tough is up to three already, and going to get a fourth there's right now. There's a Freddy kill for a Moo Moo. There Working you go. On it anyway. And there is a base flail. <laughs> they they both pulled out their bows <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> That's a duel. had the quicker draw. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yep. Bows at noon. Are you going to get that? Yes. So flail pick up. Base flail take. Now, of course, um, the super fast meta is to never open those. You don't have floaties. <laughs> Watch out for the hole. <laughs> I actually got a little surprised by that because I was used to watching. Did it oh. again! Moo didn't grab the coupon either. Oh no. It's gone. No. That's that's real bad. Got some floaties. <laughs> that's bad. Does have the kayak though, so there's that. Sorry, excuse me, the catapult. The flailapult. <laughs> whatever it's called. I forgot it's not an all Canadian booth right now. <laughs> I have to watch what I say. Tough boy had a good flawless victory on uh, a Gliak. There is got a spear. There is a lot of not like this going on, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this race, yeah. This race is a little spicy. We do have uh, two instruments. One for tough, one for Moo Moo. Um, Pi yet to get an instrument here. Looks like the infuse for Moo Moo on the flail is going to happen. That's yeah, a good one. Yeah, I think I was halfway through saying that the sort of overall race meta is to get the flawless and get a good weapon, base weapon out ah, of the yes. boss. Um, and so yeah. you never actually want to waste a key what? on one of those. But Pi Pusher just played a game of Sudoku. Uh, um, just bombed themselves right before the door. I'm not. That's a bold maybe strategy. Maybe they wanted to go to the the death screen to get a full heal or something. So they could do the quick kill. Maybe. Oh yeah, for the. the death That's a good side. heads up play. Okay. I guess. Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, I'll I think it. they had a key. I oh, think they only yeah. had one key. But hey, got the base flail though. Optimal, although you used a key to get the base flail, so it's kind of the same. Uh, okay. All right, Titanium Dagger on the base Guitarmos Knights. So yeah, you can see that those hover boots did in fact last all the way to this this fight, so it's just fine. And some. But still no Goron Charm, waiting on that. And there's and a, it's a flail for tough. Okay. So flails for everybody. That's nice. Flails for days. Yeah, we haven't actually seen a lot of weapon differentiation. 
Uh, besides uh, the very first race where Pie Pusher took the base spear and got it uh, imbued. Otherwise, um, yeah, it's been all rapiers last race and all flails this race, which is good. That's a big complaint people have <laughs> about racing story yeah, mode. So. For sure. And Moo Moo right I'm now. I'm happy they, the... they uh, did take the dagger out of the blue chest pool. That was a good mix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was just rude. <laughs> so I was going to bring up earlier, um, it's now been, happened twice in two races that Moo Moo has jumped on a glass broadsword and got hit on the same, like a glass broadsword that's in a little enemy closet and got hit on the same, just like pushing to grab it and getting hit. That's happened twice uh -oh. now. You got to watch for that. Those uh, glass weapons can be really useful. Yeah, especially in the Hyrule Castle and everything there. Yep. All right. Nice oh, uh, quick kill by Moo Moo. So Moo Moo's up to uh, three instruments. So Moo Moo, I think, has the lead right now. Let's change the audio over. Wowie. Ooh, hot swap. Oh, thanks, Charles. <laughs> Changed over to Charles audio. <laughs> That'd be the most annoying thing. Just <laughs> Charles barking all the time. I mean, I pretty much have to deal with that anyways. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. Uh, so it looks like Tuff needs one key. It's gonna go grab it here. Switch into a glass spear for quick kills. Has courage too, so it's nice. If I had a race today, I would have totally forgot that you need keys for the the castle. <laughs> would have went there with zero keys, and we're like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the racing thing. Is that not normally the case? No, it is. I, I just haven't raced in forever, so oh, okay. I would have forgot. <laughs> yes, Tuff's looking pretty good key-wise. Uh, Moo Moo's a... L Wait a minute. Ah, uh, yeah. Tuff still has to get um, the grotto, I think. Or no. Which boss is he missing? Gliok? Uh, Either Gliok or... I think this is fourth. Uh, this is not his fourth. Based he on did his do Gliok... We saw... Oh, yeah. You can tell from that. Yeah, yeah. He did Gliok. He did... Well, then it's got to be um, Wiz Robo. Yeah, Wiz Robo. Because he's definitely done the, the, the ruins, the base guitar thing. Yeah. Hello, Goof. Welcome back. Yeah, there he goes. So yeah, I give the lead slightly to Moo Moo here, but the keys, uh, oh, just grabbing some bombs, nice. Broken space oh, bar. The, uh... Just use, uh, what do they call it? Speed bumps and potholes when you talk without using spaces. That's a thing, what? right? Programming friends. <laughs> People know what I'm okay. talking about. <laughs> That's why I don't get it. <laughs> Well, that's a lot of enemies right now for Tough. Look at them all. Yeah, that's a very open area. Oh, there's a pile. What happened? I don't know. They had a monster <laughs> convention here. Jeez. Monster con. Literally killed like 15 enemies in a row there. I guess nobody in chat knew what I was talking about. Well, that's fine. A pothole is when you use an underscore instead of a space. So when you're naming things that you can't use spaces in. And then speed bump is when you use um, capitals instead of spaces. You can still read it. It just looks weird. <laughs> but it's like, like, like when naming like files and stuff. Oh, okay. That's cool. I don't know. I, I took, am like, not a programmer. two semesters of C++. That's, that's my uh, extent of programming. <laughs> More than I've taken. <laughs> that's just, I remember hearing that somewhere. Oh, snake case, they call it. Oh, that's fun. And camel case? Oh, I like speed bumps and potholes, thanks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Snakes and camels. Okay, I mean, that's fun. <laughs> really showing my true colors here. <laughs> Definitely don't know. 
All right, nice key find there by Mumu. So not having to worry about finding too many keys here and actually is gonna definitely be on to Octavo first. Mumu's been playing really well today. Yeah, this is a good run. I, I just go. I was gonna grab the hearts there. That's fun, I like that play. Yeah, get a nice heal cushion. Gets the attack scroll ready for the bonus damage. I heard attack squirrel. <laughs> I was like, wait, what <laughs> meta is this? <laughs> There's an attack squirrel in this game? Uh, Just let yes, him out of his little cage and off he goes. Sounds <laughs> amazing. DLC ink. Are we gonna do spin attack here? Yes, we are. Nice, the five damage spin attack with the link. That's I love really it. Good. That's really good. Yeah, the plus one damage on the spin attack with the glass is four plus the um, scroll we're seeing. That's really good. Yeah, he's helping. He's this, uh, yeah, I really like this uh, link strat here. You actually get to see uh, another character. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a good thing that that's, that, it, that like the spin attack actually gives that plus one is I think really wise. Mm -hmm. Okay, just going for oh nice this kill is awesome like mumu is using everything in the arsenal except for the attack squirrel maybe next time <laughs> it's the secret weapon and we're seeing the the spinneroonies from tough as well oops all caps i push her wrapping up uh their final boss too i think right nope Oh no, oh no. No, that's uh, boss three, I think. <laughs> yeah, Pie Pusher's not pushing. I think, wait. I think they still have one more. The swamp yet. I'm teleported to the wrong spot. No, there we go. All right, Dark Hyrule. Oh no. Oh no, this is scary. Low health here for Mumu. Heart and a half. Zoinks. This is early like in Dark to Hyrule. See that. Yeah. If you were to, to oh, okay. <laughs> I was just gonna say if you take a death here, you'd want it early. And there it is. Um, and now yeah. tough is tied, pretty much. Yeah. Neck and neck. Both grabbing that heart container at the exact same moment. <sighs> Yeah, now their their castles are going to be different too. Yeah. Or were these? Is this? Yeah, this castle's not seated. When they when they die. Gotta go around. Oh, the wind! Oh, the wind! Uh, that that was great. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. There you go. You showed that wind turbine. <laughs> Get out of here. Go down that hole. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the fact that these aren't seated right now is kind of funky because the differences in some Dark High rules versus others is pretty dramatic. Like, it could be super fast or super slow. Oh! Indeed. A tree was alive. Ah, Pain Lionel. All right, I have no idea which floor anyone's on. D does yeah, the I mean, floor order, like, match? Too. Like, ice is third or something? Uh, it's random. Is it random? Yes. Whichever so ones they'll be. Uh... I think this is the third or fourth for Mumu. Yeah, it looks like Tuffle is done. Oh no, Mumu! <laughs> Getting pushed into the lava over and over. Ah! Ah! That was good. Good times. This is the, this has gotta be the last one for Mumu. Yeah. So Mumu falling a little behind after that death, and a slightly faster. Um, so let's switch the audio back. Tough with the lead here. Mumu had a chance though. Good bombs from Tough. Yeah, Maybe really good first, first phase. phase. Gonna be a little spicier here for Mumu. Not using bombs. Oh, Mumu. Mumu has the flail too. It's real awkward. The Ganon fight. Yeah, swap off that. You don't need to. You don't need to use that. You don't have to subject yourself to that. <laughs> Oh, this is oh, really taking a long time for Mumu. 
Were they oh. trying to skip? Oh, they there? were trying to skip, but now they're at half a heart. Use the. Yep, there you go. Get your need heat fairy up. Okay, last there phase are... for tough. <laughs> there were three Lionels on the screen at oh, one point. So there are. And they're just. <laughs> Just firing at poor Cadence, who's just waving. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> just getting shot at. All right, Tough takes game. Uh, this game here gets first place. Nice job to Tough. Yeah, well and done. let's see if Moo Moo can get through this one here. Heart and a half, a little scary. A little bit. Take care of that Lionel. Watch that Dark Nut. <laughs> and yeah, oh Lionel, Eagle Eyes Lionel over here. And nice, nice. There it is. All right. So Moo Moo does come second, gets another three points. I think Tough is guaranteed finals here, with a perfect eight points. Uh, Moo Moo at six. See if uh, someone can pass that. And now, whoops. Now it's just Pi. Whoopsie. Just trying to get the audio working. There we go. I'm making their way through uh, Hyrule Castle. Yep, we're gonna see if Pi can uh, finish within the time limit. Light theme, yeah. yeah <laughs> My eyes. I think both uh, Tough and Moomin crashed right at the end there. Yeah, I was wondering why they uh, reset their game. I don't know. Yeah, who uses light theme for anything? <laughs> Why would you ever? My favorite uh, light theme <laughs> is uh, the mobile YouTube light theme um, because you go into dark mode, but when you open the app, it's just a big white screen with uh, the small YouTube logo, and it's like, why, why blind me before we go to dark mode? <laughs> yes, I do hate that. Except for there's a few apps that I know are like, or like if I'm watching Twitch, and navigating my house at or my apartment when it's dark, I turn the screen sideways so that the chat comes up, <laughs> and then it helps act as a flashlight. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All chat right, Octavo. <laughs> yep, chat. Exactly. Yeah, chat helps me navigate. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Someone was knocking on the door. Uh oh. All poison arrow strats from Pie Pusher. Yes. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's great. That actually works. I've never seen that. <laughs> so how much damage does it do? Three? I think it's one and then, yeah, a two dot. <laughs> that owns. Oh, does it work like uh, the Pegasus boots on the loot on the fourth? I hope oh, so. Oh, the gem gets poisoned. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it actually turns green. Oh, it sure does. <laughs> that rules. <laughs> I guess it's just rare to get poison arrows, but this is actually a really on-the-rails fight. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well done, Pie Pusher. Oh, poison's the loot. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Take that loot. <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's all <laughs> That's great. Oh, that is great. Oh! Darknet. Showing up Secret Service style. Diving in the way. I was wondering why uh, in, uh, was it the Ice Grotto, um, Pie Pusher decided to take the poison arrows over, uh, I think it was like the feather. And Kane, maybe? I was like, yeah, why are you taking those for? And yeah, there you go. Glad I think that's actually it. good. Like, sure, he teleports, yeah. but he, if it's like he has, you know, if you hit him for two and then you hit him, the fact that he teleports doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about, like, it's just going to be, what, two beats? Because he takes a hit every beat. Right. So, yeah, it teleports, so it's fine. He can teleport wherever he wants. He's still dead. So it's fine. Oh, jeez. White Dyra. Yikers. Oh, these guys are weird. And they're so weird in double time. It just can't. They're just <laughs> cheaters. Just filthy cheaters. 
Oh, I guess so. They're cancel. Still a good strat. Ooh, ooh, ah, Please stay yeah, alive. Grab that. It's a compass in that blue chest, I think. I'm gonna grab that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good call. The less enemies you have to fight, the better. Handling these swarms pretty well, though. I noticed in uh, Pie Pusher's first race, they tend to be one beat too quick on the uh, on the reflect. Yeah, yeah, we just saw it there too. Mm -hmm. It ends up looking like a, a just a buffer, a beat buffer, which you don't yeah. need to do. That costs you your stamina. Don't forget to look at your compass. Ooh, tech tights. <laughs> the moblins up on top of the air. <laughs> so goofy. There you go. Might be worth just checking a shop here for a heal. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. I guess the oh. glass torch sort of makes it look like... Yeah, heal would be good. Oh, don't open that! Oh. <laughs> I am so behind yeah, always. It's a real bummer. That's okay. I'll, uh, I'll adjust my stuff. Uh, monster closets are always terrifying. Especially when in they Dark get opened. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Take that, White Dyra. Gonna bomb jump that? No, all right. I think that's fair. You take a heart and a half, but who knows how much damage we would have taken trying to get there. Trying to go around. Right. Yeah, that was good. Oh, wow. Suddenly very low on health. Well, like half health. This is scary. Still have a compass. Did they get the... Oh, yeah. It's just under the, uh, the beat bars. I was like, where's the compass? <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure where they're going. I'm just kind of on a bit of an adventure here. Yeah. Ooh. It's like Dark Zelda. Oh! Dark Zelda's so weird sometimes. Oh no. Yeah, when when she shoots out the Din's fire, I always get a little nervous. Yeah. Because I never remember how to deal with it. I mean, you can just reflect it, but I always get That's a little how you deal with panic. anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I believe this is third floor. Only has three hearts right now. So this is a little scary. Ooh. Oh, get poisoned there, wolf. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> there you go, got a heart up. Not worth that one. Yeah, I don't think jumping in the poison there was worth. Actually, was it only half a heart damage? I think it was worth like, get a half heart okay. up. Okay. Sweet. Some quick health math on the fly. Yeah, look at that. Using the art of arithmetic here. And a hundred dollar dues, just like that. I don't know what size my monitors are. They're real big though. <laughs> I got a couple big ones. Had to buy a real big desk to <laughs> support them. You always think two is going to be enough, but once you get a, a look at three of them, it's like, oh, so many more screens I can. Yeah, I had windows three. windows I can have open. And it was nice because I had a dedicated Discord monitor, <laughs> which was great. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then um, when I got my new computer, I uh, essentially built my old, or when I built my new computer, I gave my old computer to Elas, but she needed one, a monitor, so she's got one of my monitors. Ah. Uh. That's nice. Yeah, but now I'm down a monitor, so I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really super need it, but I do find that it's very useful for things like events where there's four racers, because my other monitor, like one monitor is just dedicated to all their windows, and then the other monitor is like everything else, and there's just a lot going yeah. on there. So much things, so many things, just like this Ganon fight. Yep, we're on phase two. And shot in the back by a Lionel. How disrespectful. Most 
dirty Lionels. Alright, one more hit to get to phase three. Looking good on health. I said too early. Oh my. Oh, yeah. Ganon hurts. <laughs> oh. Here you go. Get that phase over. Oh, okay. Just Zelda ran away. So many enemies that Coffin has spawned like 20 skeletons. <laughs> yeah. How, the ca Coffin is such a clown car right now, if you think about it. <laughs> oh, we're down to two hearts. Oh, we're down to one heart. Oh, we're dead. Oh, no. Let's try that again. Oh, man. And we're back in there. Not giving up. Nope. Gonna get those points. Actually, Pie Pusher really worked out for Pie Pusher. It was in both of the three ways. And so it was guaranteed a point. Um, yeah. I would maybe go just take care of that coffin. Yeah, stop leaving the coffins alive. <laughs> Although Pi's looking fine for time, so we're okay. It's gonna be a much better time than previous. Down here, Ganon. I like how uh, the organ kind of looks like a fortissimal shout out, or not a, a Frankenstein way. Yeah, totally. Out. Yeah, it's got the purple. Maybe that's the Frankenstein way lore. Yeah. After Ganon was gone, oh. his uh, thing comes alive. Those are good bomb shoes. Yeah, nice bomb shoes indeed. And there it is. So Pie Pusher taking a third place here, but finishing in a, a almost almost nine minutes faster than the previous. So GG's, 35. That's a huge improvement. Absolutely. All right. Well, I think we've got one more race in the uh, first round, and then we're gonna take our top two racers. I think we do have a tiebreaker. 